Uh, Jake here from Central Cascades Archery, also uh, Full Send Outdoors. Today we're going to do a review of the 33 inch Matthews Lift. One of the cool things about this bow, first of all, uh, just to talk about the weight of this bow. Um, you pick this bow up and it feels like one of the lightest bows on the market. Uh, it balances super well in the hand uh, and it's going to weigh in actually right at 4.26 pounds. So I believe it actually other than going to like a carbon PSC, um, you're going to be in one of the lighter bows of the market. Uh, when it comes to the cam on this, so this has the switch weight X cam. Uh, so the cam for this particular bow has adjustments from 26 inches all the way up to 31 and a half. So it can cover a really wide range of your actual shooters as far as draw lengths go. And then from a weight perspective on your draw weights, you're going to get anywhere from 55 pounds all the way up to 80 pounds. And that's available in five pound increments. Some other options within this bow um, is going to be your silent connect uh, system for where it actually connects your limbs uh, to the riser. This pocket is designed to actually limit vibration dampening, lower the noise um, out of the bow. And some of the cool features about this bow that they put into here is the size of the limbs. They wanted to really maximize uh, the efficiency of the limb and where all that you know, energy is transferred from the string to the arrow. This bow has the uh, bridge lock uh, technology in it. So if you have uh, the idea to actually you know, run all of your accessories down the center line of the bow, which you really want to do as much as possible to eliminate your cant, uh, you have the option to go and insert your sight right here through your bridge lock mount. Uh, you also have a bridge lock stabilizer option. Uh, that you can get from Matthews and then here in the back you still have like all the other models that are on the market this year um, you have the option for the dovetail mount uh, for your actual um, drop away rest or whatever rest you want to run they still have all your normal accessory mounts uh, that if you want to run those um, but you can run all the Matthews accessories or you know any site in general will fit through your bridge lock site um, as long as you have a dovetail mount on it the quiver that is optional on this is great, uh, it sucks in real tight to the bow, allows you to keep everything as close to center as possible. Um, and then on top of that, they have your vibration dampeners up here in the front of the bow on the bottom, that you can see right here, uh, to help reduce vibration, also give you a little bit of a more balanced feel in your shot. They have your monkey tails is what I call them, back here on the back still for your silencers. And it just has a great overall feel um, to this bow. So. One of the other cool things that Matthews integrated this year is what they call Shot Sense. So it's an application as well as an attachment you can purchase for the Matthews bow that will actually track your shots, um, track trends, uh, track you know virtually everything about your shot when it comes to you know how much hand pressure um, and everything else related to your shot. And that's going to be a really cool tool for anybody really wanting to get in depth um, in what they're doing, find out when the shot is great, when it's not, go back and review the data and be able to go from there on that. But uh, we're going to go ahead and put some shots through this bow. We've put a couple through it already. We did a speed test. It is set at 30 inch draw right now. Um, it's also set at 70 pounds. We'll go ahead and we'll post up those results uh, from the speed test right now. And those are actually done with a Victory Vap Arrow. Um, it is a 250 um, V1 SS from Victory. These weigh in at 516 grains. So um, for a 516 grain arrow, this bow definitely had a lot of pep behind it. Uh, so we're going to go ahead and put some shots through it though and just get some more feedback. All right, so we're going to put some shots through this bow. Like we mentioned, a couple of other things. This does have a six and a half inch brace height, so plenty forgiving, especially with the 33 inch axle to axle. It's got a 343 um, IVO rating. Um, it does come available also for those that want a little bit shorter bow and don't want the 33 inch. Uh, it comes available in a 29 and a half. Uh, that bow posts um, a six inch brace height. It's got right under four pounds, so it comes in at 3.99, super light. Um, also is going to have speeds up to 348 feet per second. Um, other than that, uh, your draw length is a little bit shorter. It's 24 and a half to 30 inch. So 29 and a half inch model is available, but we're gonna put some shots through this one and just kind of get a little bit more feel, let you guys know how it is uh, when it's coming out, um, how the hand shock is, if there is any, and just get an overall you know, adjustment from it. Draw on it is super smooth. Um, 
very manageable draw. Nothing hard right there at all. Little to no shock or vibration. I'd say it's a very planted feel. Um, super, super smooth and feels great with nothing on the bow um, to help eliminate any of that from you know aftermarket pieces. I'm gonna put a couple more through. Real solid back wall. Doesn't want to jump out of your hand at all. Really stands straight and tall um, through the shot. It's not getting a forward rock or a backward rock. Um, so very, very level after the shot. And for a 70 pound bow, I mean, it draws really nice. Um, I would compare this to probably the Alpha X. Um, the carbon bow draws nice from Hoyt as well as uh, the Bowtech SS. Uh, the Core SS has super smooth draw as well when you're on uh, comfort mode. No? So I think there we have it, guys. Uh, Matthew's Lift. If you get a chance, get out, check it out, put some shots through this bow. Um, definitely a contender for top three bows of the year. So go check them out.